Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Shuffle Podcast, episode 168. We're the Cook Shuffle, guys. I'm Joe. Uh, I'm Dave. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I'm such a bad, bad headache right now. You know, it's like, it's the one where it's like right behind your eyes and it just feels like your eyes Somebody... are going to pop out of your head. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that's what it feels yeah. like. I feel like this eye's like, yeah, I can't even open it all the way. It's just droopy. Dude, I've had headaches so bad where like, it's literally pound, and it's always on my left side. Yeah, that's and what mine is right. Yeah, that's what mine it's is. It's right literally now. <laughs> like like the one time I, w- I had a headache at work, and that's it was where, that's where mine started. It was it was like so bad that it was wasn't letting me like it was keeping my eyes shut and my eye was watering it, like it, like yeah so bad and I was like literally just keep an eye like it, this it just like just shuts water. it shuts you down it, it like I, I was trying to eat some some cheetos on my drive home i had like one cheeto flaming hot by the way one cheeto yes, yeah and i was like i'm gonna throw up i don't I, <laughs> like i just feel like shit and so i was like okay well let me have some water so i'm drinking some fucking water it doesn't fucking help at all now, I, so couldn't you, even, I couldn't even I couldn't get the shit out of my car. I was like, I'm just gonna leave everything in my car besides my keys and my phone. Um, and everything else can stay in there because I don't even have the energy to bring anything in right now. Um so is that just like is that a migraine? I call I everything a headache because I you know, yeah, because I'm not a know, bitch. <laughs> right, right. Because let me just say, you know, we'll go back to uh we'll go back to the yes or yesterday's last week's podcast when I said I'd like to be a woman to uh yeah. You know, understand what that was. That was a few weeks ago. Oh, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Um, you know, just to understand what they're all bitching about. Um, because I've never they heard a migraines. guy. I've never heard a guy say, <laughs> "I get migraine." I get like chronic migraines. Yeah. I don't. It's, maybe it's because we don't fucking know what they are. Yeah, because we're just call it a headache. Yeah. For and me, we just, just. You know. Yeah. I, don't know. I think it's I'm like just... if if it like, I don't know if there's like a pain like threshold that it has to surpass for it to be considered a migraine or if it's a duration like shannon right gets now, migraines all the time apparently so i could ask her figures she's a girl <laughs> <laughs> hey shannon <laughs> we have to get her on the podcast really quick shannon like i i feel like you're i feel like it could be considered a, 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 a okay then just a question but you got to speak loud enough for us to for dave to hear you dave can you hear her right now I don't know okay, if she's hello. Just hello. Okay, yeah. Okay. You get migraines a lot. Yeah. What, at what point do you consider it not a headache and, a, and it's, it's that it, instead it's a migraine? If it lasts longer than an hour. So it's time, not pain. Oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. I've had migraines then. And is that just your personal thing? <laughs> personal That's her personal thing. <laughs> but Shannon uh, claims to get chronic migraines, so. Well, that should be asking Miranda is who we should really be asking. Miranda! At what point is it a migraine and no longer a headache? No. A what? Miranda. It's not duration. <laughs> oh, it's not duration, according to the nurse that lives in our house. What do they know? <laughs> 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 okay well i'm not seeing spots or hearing ringing in my ears so i guess i just have a headache yeah probably i don't know i was gonna say well, it maybe... says duration she says anything over an hour which you just heard of course and this has been lasting longer than an hour or so yeah i've had those yeah, yeah yeah where it's just like dude it's just not gonna it's just not going away yeah no it's 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 bad but if i like move my eyes too fast i'm like i'm done for maybe you got um, like vertigo what? Maybe you got like vertigo. I don't know, dude. I'm going to vertigo like, go you, jump off a bridge. <laughs> vertigo is like if you like stand up and then you get dizzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That just happens to me though. <clears throat> it's not even that I get dizzy. I just like, I'm if I stand up, I get like. Stand up too fast and you're like. Yeah. See, I see nothing. I just lose. Yeah, socks. dude. I'm just like, dude, the one time I stood up. I just up, like, I'm going down. <laughs> the one time I stood up, um, I was laying, I was in my oh, old oh, bedroom. Hold on. There's an update on migraines. So right on. It's based on intensity, duration, and one more thing. I forget what she said already. Intensity. Du- Way it's treated, where, where it's located, intensity, and duration. Where's the location supposed to be? 
yeah what's the location what's the location Miranda? i feel like it could, it could be anywhere like i'm probably gonna be your fucking head one or both sides of the head so anywhere <laughs> <laughs> That's a stupid fucking answer oh, on, a oh okay there's a diagram it's Okay. <laughs> we're getting everybody involved here, Dave. Okay. This is what we're you can't see that, can you? Slightly. No. Okay. Uh it's uh left what's that left or right? That's the right side. Uh is Are you sure? Just a migraine. And then it's the top of the head is a tension headache. And then, you know, here, okay, there is a sinus headache. And then on one eye is a cluster headache. Yeah, do I get cluster fucks? No, not cluster fucks, cluster headaches. <laughs> so I've got, I've just had a cluster headache right now because it's just right, thank you, right here. I mean, it's also like here, you know, but it's like, it's here. Yeah, dude, I get, these ones are the worst ones. They fucking the suck. Side. Fucking sucks. And it just, again, it just like, anyways, so wait, you were saying migraine about- migraine again? Migraine is like half of the, it's like- Cerebral palsy? Yeah. <laughs> But it can be one or both, but it's like your whole head hurts. Oh, okay. Or half your whole head hurts. Got you. Yeah. Uh, the one you were time, saying about, yeah, yeah. yeah, you stood up. Um, in When I was in uh, the downstairs bedroom. In the downstairs, yeah. In the downstairs bedroom. Mm-hmm. Um, I stood up. I was laying in bed. Right? I stood up and I just completely was just like. <laughs> just, just like, like just fell back onto my bed right was, back down i was like jesus christ i've had i've had one not one i've had like i've stood up before and it's like brought me to brought me to a knee i don't know if i've ever fallen back down oh yeah that was the worst one i ever had but usually it's like 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 when i get up from the chair and like from my office chair yeah and i and i go like this and i'm like Ugh. And oh yeah like, you're just like <laughs> i just gotta sit back down i'm just like Oof. or i'll just like lean on my desk and be like Oof. yeah yeah it usually yeah. it usually is uh it follows a stretch it's like a stretch a good stretch and you're just yeah. like yeah i never use i i don't ever fall down but that one when i i when think maybe because that one i actually like i like i don't know maybe it's because i didn't try and catch myself or like like yeah i don't know i just stood up and i legit saw black and i was like yeah excuse me <laughs> it's like fucking jesus take the wheel at this point i'm done for um but yeah that was interesting yeah um but i got a i got an issue why is it why does hair why does um cut hair gotta be itchy you know when you get get a haircut no 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 i recently uh trimmed Mm. and um now usually when i trim i like to uh not have my any any clothes on or like the, any shirts on <laughs> <laughs> just like i gotta shave let me get completely <laughs> naked before i trim my beard <laughs> well i mean technically usually i am because it's it's gonna be before i get a shower go in the shower or something i like, tend to shave post shower i'm still naked but yeah so either way if it's after shower or if it's not either way i'm, yeah. I'm naked but, you tend to be naked <laughs> but if i'm just like okay i gotta do this quick i usually like to take off like as of right now it'd be a hoodie and a shirt because mm-hmm. i like to just be able not get anything on my clothes yeah, yeah, or yeah whatever but i didn't do that today and now it's so in you my got shirt some, you got some hairs in your shirt and dude it's fucking itchy it's like why it's because it's loose hair and it's like you know, it moves around. Whereas like the hair that's the, te- like, do you have, do you have chest hair? Oh yeah. <laughs> Tons of it. Yeah. <laughs> I do. <laughs> fucking sucks. I hate it. Oh, I but anyways, I, I've gotten used to it. I really don't care. I, I mean, I've gotten used to it, but I still hate it. E- either way, that hair, you know, it's, it's, it's there. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. It doesn't move. When you got like little beard hairs that make their way through the chest hair, it's, it touches the skin and then it itches. Yes. Oh, dude, it's fucking annoying. Yeah, what I do hair that has is, the freedom to move will itch you, or will what, yeah, will itch, will itch. Well, what I do hate is my fucking shoulder hair. <laughs> just shave it, dude. Oh, I know, I do. Like, like I just kind of what I do is I'm just like, all right, whatever. Like winter, I'm never gonna have my shirt off, right? But come summer, I'm probably hitting that bitch like <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> I, I you know i'm shaving in a, a, a few times you know a month yeah you know, yeah, not, yeah probably I, I pull, quickly 
I don't get a lot of, um, like, I don't grow a lot of shoulder hair. I'll get, like, you know, a stray hair every now and again. I pull them. Yeah, no, my shit's going, like, up here, <laughs> here, back of the neck. I'm Dude, like, that cool. sucks. I'm like, cool, I'm a fucking hairy. I got the, I got the fucking. I wonder hair. what gene that is. I got hair here. That sucks, dude. If I had hair on my back, I'd just straight up jump off a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, whatever. Because I'm not. I, unless, that's why you're so sweaty. That's got to be. There's yeah. a direct correlation between the amount of hair you grow and the amount of sweat you produce. Yeah. yeah. I don't grow a lot of hair, as you can tell. Ben's fucking hairline. <laughs> yeah, I'll be bald by the time I'm 30, probably. Yeah, but you'll, have a nice, you'll have a nice winter coat all over you. Yeah. Yeah. Look at my fucking, look at my fucking bunge hole. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I love it. Do you watch the basement yard? I don't think yeah. you do. Right? Yeah, dude. I love when they talk about that shit. Ah, uh, the way, the different ways that they say asshole yeah, is just dude. my favorite thing. Or anything. Like, I don't even know. Sometimes I can't, sometimes it's hard for me to differentiate what they're talking about. Cause yeah, I don't know if they're talking about a vagina or an asshole. Right. Cause sometimes they'll go like, oh yeah, the bunge. Yeah, like that. but then sometimes they'll just say like, oh, I heard something. I was watching it today, and they were just like that. Ah, they just like it's usually just like a bunge or like that. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> I don't know. I, I know that one for sure, but it's so fucking funny. Uh, oh man, that's too funny. My head fucking is killing me right now. Um, um, I uh, yeah, no, I I I pull any any hair that's not in a normal location. Pull it. How do you pull it? I don't give it the chance because I don't give it the chance to grow. If you shave it, it's just going to grow back, right? So I I pull them. They'll still grow back, but it takes them longer. Right. Yeah. That's why I need like that um laser hair removal. Yeah. I don't know just, how long that lasts for either. Just for the, should last forever. You'd think, but they'd make no money if it lasted forever. Or maybe like a wax. You could do a wax. That's just like pulling though. Yeah. Just just more hot and painful i would just do it for like because i'll look it up how well, how much is a wax or what do you, what do you uh, um I'm, I'm gonna look up uh, how long is how a wax long, how, yeah does how it long last? does a wax lost last yeah how long yeah it's gotta be a couple weeks right dude if it's a couple weeks that's bullshit because i can shave <laughs> i can shave my arms and it'll last a couple weeks well, yeah, but not like not like smooth couple weeks. Yeah, no. How long does a wax look at that last? Look at how look at how why do I have Waxing? so much forehead skin? <laughs> I got so much foreskin, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um the waxing should last anywhere from three to six weeks, depending on your personal hair growth. Oh, great. So I told you a few weeks. You said yeah, so you're a couple fucked. weeks. Yeah, this you're done three, for. Six. Yeah, the way, the way my hair fucking grows. Yeah. Location of your wax and... Okay, so, so depending on your personal hair growth, the location of your wax. Okay, well, the this Do you, stuff doesn't grow that fast. Okay. Like, my hair doesn't grow fast, whether wherever it is on my body. My hair doesn't grow fast. because Mine me, does. Like, so I should be pretty good. The location of your wax and the accuracy of the application. If you're not sure waxing is for you there are many other forms of hair removal that will last anywhere from days to weeks and even more long term oh wow i i don't do you still look at um i'm probably talking really loud in this thing right now do you still look at the like ancestry dna bullshit nah okay i get emails all the time all the time yeah like hey you got a new uh new person new cousin i'm like what (laughs) um no i look at i tend to look at them most of the emails that come through if it's like there's an update on your dna or like your ancestry then i'll yeah. take a look at that if it's just like we found a new relation i go i don't give a fuck um but i'll look at like the, the updates and an update that we got i don't remember how long ago it was it had to have been a few months now um but it said that there that we are uh italian there's some italian in us well, yeah. and that's why you got so much fucking hair. <laughs> yeah, dude, Jesus Christ. You have more of the Italian genes. I have so much hair on my body. It's yeah, just I, like, I don't have a lot of hair on my like, body. It's like, bro, what is up? Like, I mean, my, like, my legs are pretty hairy. My legs, like, like my, in, you, like, 
usually, oh, I mean, not usually, I guess it just kind of depends, but like, it's usually got your leg hair, like your, your below the knee leg hair, yeah. and it starts to come up, but then yeah. it just kind of dissipates. Mm-hmm. Does yours not dissipate? <laughs> no. Mine, it's like, just... my, at like upper thigh, I just like, I just lose hair. And then I, then I start to gain that hair again, you know, just, just above like the belt line. Yeah. And then it's just, you know. Yeah. Hair. I got, I got the fucking. <laughs> yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah. And then it wraps around like a fucking. Yeah. Backpack. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have an insane. I, we talked about this last week. I have an insane amount of nipple hair. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> so much. I can't even. I Dude, it's not even like I have the same amount of nipple hair. It's just like it's all it's all one thing. So it's like I can't even tell if it's nipple hair or. Cause it is. It's just yeah, it's just yeah, pack yeah. hair. It's my pack I had a gray hair. one the other day on my my right nipple that I clipped that bitch right off. Shannon wanted to pull it. I like, said, "Are you I got hair, Like I, I got hair all over my stomach. Oh yeah, but well, it's just like it's not like it's not like it's. So I good. don't. I don't have it all over my stomach. I just have like a. I have a thick line. Like I got that, hair like, here that, that dissipates towards the end. You have hair on your ribs. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm fucking I'm like three hairs away from being. Look at how I'm like I'm like bald down there. I'm a, I'm like a baby's bottom. Dude, that's I'm that's three. Weird. I'm three hairs away from being a gorilla. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Speaking of zoo animals, that's a good transition into what Look, I, I could talk legit, about next. I could legit. Yeah, we could transition after this I. This is I, this is gonna be you and after I in a couple yeah, of weeks. Dude, I swear to God. <laughs> That's gonna be me. I I, I can blame dad. <laughs> Look for, at that thing's mustache, dude. I can blame dad for um my hair. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. Because um I, if you ever seen him with the shirt off, you know, he's got dad's that a, he's got that hair man. right here. Yeah. And I'm like, cool, thanks, I, dude. I do not have that, thank God. Whatever. Um, so the the Dallas Zoo has been has been dealing with some shit lately. Okay. Um this this is a this is actually from National Geographic. I saw this article. This article popped up on my phone on the drive home. It's literally published today. Um, the the title is "The Dallas Zoo is being sabotaged." I'm like, okay, let's let's take a look into this. So uh, there was a a, a a leopard who escaped. Ooh, uh, that nice. was like, yeah, that was that was. I don't want to say old news, but it happened a few <clears throat> uh, days or weeks ago, whatever the fuck it was. And so they like shut the zoo down, you know, a predator escapes, you're going to shut it down as you normally would. So I was like, okay, then apparently some other shit happened. So, uh, leopard escaped, by the way, 25 pound leopard. I could take that thing. Easy. Leopards like the fast shit, right? Like, oh no, it's cheetah. Cheetahs are fast. Leopards are not slow. Yeah, I'm sure leopard could. 25 pounds, probably pretty quick, but. Yeah, dude, 25 pounds. I could take a leopard. No, yeah, could, no problem. That thing lunges at me. I'm just like, I'm just like, Kow! yeah. It's called a clouded leopard. Sounds like a little bitch. Um, <laughs> yeah, it got its fucking head in the clouds. Fucking high ass motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, so that was <laughs> clouded leopard. Then, uh, oh, what a cute. This one's kind of sad. Uh, a vulture, uh, was was killed intentionally. Why? It was fatally and intentionally wounded. In the enclosure. So, like, that fucking sucks. Um, I don't know. People are fucking assholes. And then two monkeys were stolen. What the fuck? What's going after, on? And this was after they were like, we got to up our security, right? Like, they had, they, had a, they had a leopard escape uh, due to a suspicious opening in the enclosure. Then they had a vulture wounded and, and killed. Um. And and then they were like, we got up security, right? And right. Then everyone was like, yeah, that, that checks out. Like, some shit's going down. And then even after up security, two monkeys were stolen. I would I would steal a monkey, first of all. Let's just, what are you looking up here? This is... Um, That's a clouded... Le- easy, dude. Look how cute he is. Hey, this is actually the escaped Dallas Zoo clouded leopard. Oh, shit. Found. It was found. That, yeah, well, yeah. I told you it, it happened a couple weeks ago. Oh. Look at how cute he is. That is a cute. That's basically just like a house cat, just a little bit bigger. That's the that's the only cat I would want in my house. That's fucking sick, dude. If you had one of those, I, like walking around your house, like dude, I awesome. want a fucking um, 
You want a Dude, panther? Fucking look at the, from from the storybook or what's that called? Um, Jungle Book. Jungle Book, dude. That panther in there. Yeah. Oh, that is pretty how, sick. Look at this. They're fucking... massive, dude. Oh, bro. Look up. Uh, this is like totally not relatable, not at all like the cat you're looking at right now. But look up a Maine Coon cat because that's they they can get pretty big. And you might like one of those. Oh, I've seen these. Yeah, these things are cool. They're yeah, huge. They're sick. They're massive. Oh, it's actually spelled Maine. Yeah. Yeah, dude. The, yeah, I've uh, <clears throat> I've seen a cat like this before. Yeah, those are like those are badass cats. They just look like they like would fuck your shit up. Right. What other type of? Uh, uh, What's like the? I think that might be the biggest. Look up like the biggest house cat. Why do you have Jake Gyllenhaal as a recent search? <laughs> Dude, I've watched five of his movies in a row. Uh, he's got some good movies. I love Jake Gyllenhaal. Now, yeah, well, Tay Tay Swift fans yeah, might not agree with me, but like, <laughs> careful, you're going to activate the Taylor Swift fans all over again. Dude, I love. I watched. Ready? Oh, I'll tell you after this. Oh, main Coon. There you go. Stewie. Stewie. What? Oh, this is Wait. a world record. Oh, like Stewie is his name. Okay. <laughs> What is the three there largest the, cat? No, the, the top, the, the ten largest domesticated cat breeds. Maine Coon. There you go. Is that wait, wait, wait? Is that number one? As I, in, like, I it's the biggest, so. or so? Let's go look at ten then. Yeah, this is a bitch. Yeah. What is this? A, a bangle. bangle. Look, scroll up one. A ragamuffin is a cat. That's funny. American bobtail. That's Savannah. what we've been referred to our entire <laughs> life when mom calls us a ragamuffin. <laughs> this thing, yeah. Huh. Uh, Siberian. That's look. That one looks Chaucy. like Vega. The Siberian. Persian. You know, these things look so angry. They're ugly. <laughs> Norwegian forest cat. That's a cool cat. That's a good looking cat. Ragdoll. Very There's similar to ragamuffin. And Maine Coon. Coon. Cool. Um. Yeah, I. Let's promote Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, yeah. Um, now I'm going to watch this next because it's on Netflix, I saw. But I watched South Isn't Park. Isn't that about like some weird shit? I don't uh, want to say weird shit. I don't it's, know. It's like a romantic movie. It's yeah. Ro romance drama. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's him and Heath Ledger. I'm pretty sure like they're they're gay. Oh, really? That's not weird. You know, I said weird shit, and then I, I was like, okay, well, wait a second, maybe I should backtrack. But I think it's like, yeah, I think they are in love, are the lovers there. So, I watched... Oh, Did you yeah. watch, um, what's that one where he's guilty? the 911 operator? Yeah, gu dude, yeah. I love it. Is it that one? Yeah, it's the guilty. Oh, yeah, it fucking slaps. I don't remember I being it. that one, but yeah. I love it. Um, I watched Southpaw. Then I watched um, Ambulance. Okay. And then I watched... Um, oh, have you ever seen End of Watch? That's a good one. No. Zodiac's good, though. Zodiac is good, yeah. Um, Nocturnal Animals is good, too. I don't think I've seen that one. Uh, which, which Life is good. Life is great. I never saw Life. Oh, it's fucking kind of scary. What did I watch? I watched something before I watched Stronger. Mm. But yeah. Oh no, then it would have just been four movies. But I've seen I've seen uh, oh Brothers. It was it was uh Stronger Than Brothers, I think. Oh, okay. Um but yeah, The Guilty, good. Yeah. A lot I watched he's, Love he's and Other some, Drugs. He's in some good movies. I want to see Prisoner. Yeah, dude, he's he's so good. Um, Sorry. but anyway, so like I was saying about the zoo, <laughs> yeah, before yeah. you got obsessed with Jake fucking Gyllenhaal, um, right, monkeys were stolen, later recovered, great for the monkeys. Um, it is, it, there's a quote in here, words cannot express the frustration our team is feeling. Like, that's, that was a, that was the vice president of the zoo. Um, she said that yesterday in an email. Um, and it's got – the zoo has 100 cameras on its 106-acre uh, campus. 
um, somehow they man they don't know who these people are yet that are doing this. And since the incidents, the zoo has upped its cameras capabilities and installed portable solar tower units to keep the ground well the grounds well lit. And they still don't know who the fuck is doing this shit. That's just like, first of all, like what is your what is somebody's desire to let loose a, a leopard, let kill a, leopard a vulture, loose. and steal? You could say it either way. Let loose a leopard. Yeah. Who says that? Technically, I think it's a correct sentence. Dude, there's no way. Who would let loose a leopard? Yes. That is not even close to being a sentence. It is. Who would let loose a <laughs> leopard? Yes. Who would let loose? Who would let loose a That's leopard? Not, comma, no. comma. Who would let loose, comma, a leopard? Question mark. No. <laughs> That's not, no. Fine. I will not. Who would let a leopard that. loose? Uh, and then kill a vulture and steal yeah. monkeys. And also, if you're stealing monkeys, you don't, like, you gotta, you can't let them get get recovered. You're thinking this is all one group? Doing it's this? gotta be. There's no way that there's multiple groups that are going unnoticed by this zoo and are just Inside kind job. of playing Inside pranks job. on them, essentially. I mean, the killing the vulture, that's that's bad. That's not okay. Um, but, like, stealing monkeys and letting loose a leopard. <laughs> I think it was a leopard. <laughs> that's just, like, you're just pranking the zoo at this point. It's probably some animal rights activist. Oh, maybe. I didn't even think about that. Did you see this, dude? Did you see the video of these, um, these, uh, like, like, uh, I don't know what they were. Uh, Look at the, I'm really quick. Look at the leopard that they killed. Or, sorry, vulture. the vulture that they killed. Look at the I legs on that thing. Why does that thing look so weird? It's I think it's just straight up walking. It's terrifying. <laughs> Did you see the video of the, um, I don't know what they were, but some like maybe they were animal rights activists. I don't know, but some type of group that wanted to, that was protesting, and they were trying to stop this semi. And some people were like holding. So it was it was a semi that had I think it had animals in it. So there were mm -hmm. holes in the, or it had something, but there were holes in the side of the truck that people were like. Trying to stop an eight a semi truck and they're they're holding onto. I see it on the corner of the camera. Hold on. You know when you're talking, you know this stuff. It's I just can like, hear it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, like two or three people start to they walk in front of the semi and he's just going. He's not stopping. He is not stopping, but he does eventually stop. But they also get out of the way, and then. Um, Listen, I'm all for animal rights and shit, making sure that animals in captivity or whatever animals are properly cared for and looked after. But I'm not going to, one, I'm not going to protest probably ever. I'm just, I just, I'm just too lazy to go out and, and do shit. Yeah. Uh, but also, I'm not going to get in front of a semi truck. I'm not going to get in yeah. front of any vehicle. Right. You could, you could be driving a Prius. I'm not getting in front of it because you press on the gas. Yeah. And I'm getting it my takes, big ass run it over. Takes the, it takes one person, let's say me, a protester, yeah. to piss off the wrong person, the guy in the car, and mm -hmm. him just be like, hey, no, no, what's that saying? No, uh, no dust off my back. I don't know. What's it called? No skin off my back. There we go. Sure. That one. <laughs> no yeah, skin I off would... my back if I kill you. But so though they stop and they're like, and he they he drives past them now. You're right. And then they come back. They're like, "Oh my god, are you okay?" Uh, yeah, dude. He almost like, oh "My god, I can't believe I almost hit him." He has no, 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 no. What is he? No empathy for animals. No empathy for for human life or something. You're standing like that. in front of a semi truck. I'm like, bro. You deserve to get run over. I'm like, bro. I okay. I get what you're doing, but like, it's a semi truck. There's no you stopping really, it. No. You go speaking up to a semi. That, yeah. Speaking of semi trucks with animals, I was driving behind a, this was like forever ago, like a few years ago. 
I was uh, driving, I think I was driving back home and I was driving like back home. Tr- yeah. Like back from Florida to home. Um, I was driving behind a truck full of chickens and the smell that <laughs> came off of it. My windows were closed <laughs> and we were driving 70 miles an hour, probably faster down the highway. And the the smell was so bad, I thought I was dying. It was <laughs> it was awful, dude. Just like five hundred chickens crammed into a crammed into a truck. Yes, yeah, Shannon. Yeah, um, crammed into a truck, and I and I mean crammed. Like they were like there was no room for walking around in this in the back of this truck. It was just like a big cage with. 500 chickens squished down, totally cruel, but, oh God, the smell was so bad. It was so, so, I can't even describe it. It just smelled like, like shit and death. I can't describe it. That's what it smelled like. Yeah, shit <laughs> it was, and death. It was terrible. I wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemy. Yeah. Dude, that's what I said about fucking COVID. When I couldn't taste. Yeah. Worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. And if I had a catheter. I would never mind. You know what? I don't wish that upon them. Send me a catheter. A catheter? Yeah, that's fuck, dude. Fuck no. that. No. Um, that and COVID. Yeah, that and COVID. Catheters and COVID. Um, the no, no I was, part I've got one more story, and then I need to, like, take a nap. Okay. Because um, <laughs> my eye's going to fall out of my head, I swear to God. Um, I was driving to work today, and there was some traffic, and I was like, fuck this. I hate it. Um... And it came out of nowhere, too. It's, like, one of those things where you just, like, you see your time just, like, spike up, like, on your way to work. Well, I mean, I was, like, I was using, like, I was using my maps because I, I still go to the new job. So I'm, like, oh, let me figure it out first. Um, so, like, the time, my arrival time, my ETA, yeah, uh, just, like, spiked, like, nine minutes. And I was, like, what the fuck? Like, why? And then all of a sudden traffic just stopped. And I was, like, oh, cool. Hawker, dude. And so I say the thing, the thing that I always say when traffic just stops totally not okay to say i go somebody better be dead oh. or i'm gonna be mad because this is ridiculous and so we get up there they were they were three lanes were going down to one lane which is why the traffic was so bad and we finally get up there i see that i see the cop lights i go okay so clearly some shit went down what the fuck happened and it was a motorcycle accident and i was like oh fuck somebody might actually be dead and so I'm like looking, you know, I'm big old rubbernecking to see, to see what's going on. I see that they've got the motorcycle up on a tow truck already, just like laying down on its side. And then they've got like a big, not a big plastic sheet, but they've got like a plastic sheet kind of like crumpled in the corner of that same tow truck. And I go, well, there's no way there's a body underneath there because they wouldn't, they wouldn't put them on the tow truck. Oh, why would they put them on the tow truck? <laughs> I don't know. But that's what, like my first thought when I saw like this plastic sheeting, I was like, oh shit. Here we go. I didn't see anything. It's possible that if there was a person, a body, he may have already been gone. But I don't know. I never saw a human being. I just saw the cops, the motorcycle on the tow truck. And I was like, oh, God, motorcycle accident. You know, that's bad. Uh, but that made me think of, I don't know if I ever told this story on the podcast. Um, made me think of the time that I was driving uh, back from Universal one night. This was, again, three plus years ago. Um, driving back from Universal and got stuck in traffic on a very like busy street. Traffic just stopped moving. And I'm like, what is going on? Like we like we were just at a standstill for several minutes. Like it was like 15, 10, 15 minutes. We just we didn't move. And so I was like, what the fuck's going on? And of course, I'm getting mad because I'm sitting in my car. Nobody's moving. And I go, somebody better be fucking dead up ahead. I swear to God. And so finally we move up far enough. We're able to kind of like skirt up onto the shoulder of the road and then cut down a side street and make it to our, our destination, which was an apartment complex. We get to the apartment complex and traffic inside the apartment complex has also stopped moving. Like they, they can't get out of the apartment complex onto the road. And I'm like, what happened out there? It must be a terrible accident. Um, 
And so we see people like kind of walking down the street, like on the sidewalk to go see what happened. And I go, you know what? Let's fucking go. So we go down uh, and we see, like, we can see the cop lights up ahead. Like, up, like the road was like a slight hill. So we could like see them up at the top of the hill. So we're like, okay, let's go. Traffic's not moving in either direction. So I'm like, okay, this is serious. They have stopped traffic in both ways or from both ways. We get up there fucking awful car accident a, a, a person like jumped the uh i think they jumped the median and like hit head on with a, a pickup truck um i don't remember exactly how it happened I, um either way and i shouldn't laugh somebody was dead <laughs> um and you she was just laying there they hadn't covered her up yet so she, I think, was ejected from the, the car after hitting the pickup truck and was just kind of in, in the intersection. Um, and we're like, oh, my fucking God. And so uh, this is uh, back when I was with Natalie. So she's the person I was driving with. And when I said that, uh, she, we were walking to the to the accident and she goes, you wished this <laughs> into fruition yeah, dude, because you're a horrible motor and i'm like i'm like there's no way that i caused this because traffic had been stopped for a while no you did not but I every said, time every time before i said somebody better be dead it's not like they were giving her cpr and they were like she's gonna make it i think and then i go i she somebody better be dead up ahead or i'm gonna be mad and they were like you know what she's not gonna make it <laughs> no, no, but you said that before, and it just speaks into existence. No, I don't think so. Because you're horrible. Either way, yeah, I felt, I was like, damn, that, I actually do feel kind of shitty for saying that. But she was already dead. Yeah, 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 we get that, okay? Yeah. Just to make yourself feel better, we got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Point being, I shouldn't have said it, I shouldn't say it anymore, but I still did today. And I actually think I've said it multiple times. Anytime I'm stuck in traffic, when traffic just slows <clears> down, <throat> somebody better be dead. Yeah, that's because other, otherwise, that's, that's too much road rage to happen so quickly. It's not. It's not. I, it's not quickly. I don't mean like immediately we come to a stop and I go, somebody better be dead. I'm saying like I'm running late or now I'm running late. Somebody better <laughs> have deceased. <laughs> yeah. Um. Because otherwise, if it's not that, and it's just a bad accident. And people are just slowing down to look at the bad accident. I'm mad at the people. I'm not going to be mad at a dead person. If I get up there and I go, oh, traffic was stopped because somebody died. I'm going to be like, my condolences. I will say a quick prayer on, on your behalf. I hope you rest in peace. I don't mean to laugh. I just don't know how else to react. I've I've come to terms where I just... I just go with the flow. Oh, yeah. Dude, I do. I make sure I leave early. So if I, if I am I on my way to work, early. if I am on my way to work and I get stuck, okay, I got time. And uh, anytime, anywhere else, if I'm just going to the store, well, I'm just going oh, to the I store. mean, if I'm just going wherever, I don't care Dude. that much. But like, yeah, I was trying do. to get home. I was yeah, that's tired. what I'm saying. I yeah, who gives a, car this person's dead, bro. <laughs> yeah, and I want to sleep. They get the forever sleep, and I'm stuck fucking being awake right now. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, God. It's not like I called up this woman's mother and was like, hey, your daughter better but, be but dead, what I'm saying I'm going to be mad. What, here's what I'm saying is, Joe. Let's just say, let's just say the year before. Yeah. You got into this type of situation, you go, someone better be fucking dead up there if we're since we're not moving. It's just a figure of speech. And then you get up there and they're alive. Yeah. But now when you come into it the next year and you say someone better fucking be dead up there, your last response for the person who was alive transferred to this person. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Who's now dead in an intersection because she got ejected. Yeah. Mm. just don't say it it's just a figure of speech no i'm not wishing death upon somebody i'm just saying for this traffic it better be serious 
And there's nothing more serious than somebody dying in a car accident. Or if traffic stopped, there's going to be a reason. And you just got to be like, all right, whatever. Sometimes there's not a reason. Sometimes you get up to where the traffic just ran- magically speeds up again, and there was no reason. This is what you do. This is how you go about that situation. This is how you go about the situation. When there's traffic, you're just like, all right, whatever. And then when you see why there's traffic, then you're like, oh, okay. Or, oh, it's because of this fucking asshole. Because if it's something stupid, then you can get angry. That's fair. So you just, it's its about, you know, it's just like an argument. You can't fucking, fucking shoot fire with fire right away. You just, and then when I'm you I'm not realize, saying I immediately get angry. I think you do. No, I don't, I don't see traffic and go, Dude. it's been, it's been 30 seconds. Somebody better be dead. I go, it's been 25 minutes. Somebody must have died. <laughs> Whatever. You get road rage. I didn't, so. I didn't even get, I wasn't even angry. I mean, I was like, I was frustrated because traffic wasn't moving, but I was like, this is like, so in, in that time, I was like, this is insane. Like this, this like doesn't happen. And it was, I mean, it was a pretty nice night. It was, it was nice weather out. Uh, we had live music because we were stopped across from a restaurant and they had live music playing. So I was like, this isn't so bad, but I would like to get home. So what's happening? What song was playing? Uh, it was like his own. It was like some local artist. Oh, might have been uh, gonna die young, young. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so maybe one day I'll stop saying that when I'm stuck in traffic. And it, again, it's not always. There are times I'm stuck in traffic, and I'm just like, "You fucking idiots!" I know it's because you're you don't know how to merge properly. It's one of the things yeah. where, like, if everybody just steps on the gas, there won't be traffic. Like the fucking two ninety. Yeah, over here. Oh my god, nobody knows how to fucking merge there. No, it sucks. <clears throat> Anyways, do you want to wrap uh, this up? Yeah. Or you got something else? Um, uh, no, I got nothing. All right. Other than the fact, uh, no. All right. Random dream. I make your heart. Oh, yeah. I got. A, we got a banging playlist for this car ride. Oh, you're Can driving. You yeah, it's New Hampshire, dude. Ugh, it's gonna fucking suck. Why? You drive to Florida. I know, and it sucks. Yeah, New Hampshire's like, I don't know, 10 hours closer. How long is the drive? Like seven, eight hours. No way. Yeah. It's not bad. Maybe nine. Yeah, nine so sounds more accurate than seven. Oh, eight. seven, eight, yeah, nine, one extra hour. It's Dude, not like it it's takes, 11. It takes seven, eight hours to get to the other end of New York. Yeah. Okay. And you're going, you're going up. Okay, so it's the same. If, if, seven, Where do you go hour, up? Are you going, are you going it's like, cross. It's basically, are you going all the way to Albany and then up? Or are you going all the way to like, are you going to Syracuse and up? Uh, I think, well, we have to go to Syracuse. We have to pick somebody up, so. Right. So do you, do you then cut up that way, like past Oswego, or do you, do you go well, all yeah, the way I think to you Albany? Just, I, think and you go, I think we have to go like towards Albany. Okay. That's so good. That's, that's, that's gotta be, that's gotta be at least nine hours. Yeah. Okay. Eight, nine hours then. Whatever. Fuck you. Pick a number. You pick a number. A two. No. Actually. Yeah. Two. Great. What is it? Hold on. What prevents the Earth's atmosphere from drifting into space? Fuck. It's eight hours and 57 minutes. So nine hours. Yeah. Big whoop de doo I say seven, eight. You're like, yeah, it's got to be at least nine. <laughs> I bet it'll take you 10. I guarantee it'll take you 10. Yeah, it might, but it's still not that bad. Whatever. Uh, what prevents the Earth's atmosphere from drift- drifting into space? They didn't even know that was possible or was it being I'm, stopped. I'm locked in. Yeah, you wouldn't think it's possible because it's uh it because it's because otherwise we'd be dead. Well prevent I got it. Boom. See ozone layer. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, what? you think you think a layer of the atmosphere prevents the rest of the atmosphere from drifting into space? Oh, is that what that is? Okay, hold on. 
What prevents the Earth's atmosphere from drifting into space? The Earth's atmosphere from drifting into space. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not that I'll figure it out, but like I was thinking, I was thinking not us to them, but them to us. Oh yeah. So okay, so us to them. What can what's um I like that you're referring to space as them, but yeah, you know, <laughs> yo, there's some mad sirens going on outside right now. I don't hear them. Yeah. Dude, that's like, probably dead. That's at least <laughs> that's at least six. That you can just tell? I hear at least three. Okay. Because I hear the I hear the woo doo 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 and then I hear that yeah and there's probably another one there too <laughs> um okay i'm already locked in by the way i've got yeah, yeah i got that i got that okay what prevents the earth's atmosphere from drifting in this and i'm just going to give myself two points because i know that i've got it right um and if i don't have it right i'm dropping out of school earth's atmosphere gravity yeah good. let's go <laughs> very good it dude, took I was, you way too long. <laughs> well, dude, I literally had to, I was like, dude, something's got to be pulling it, keeping it in its place. And I'm like, dude, gravitational what? pull, man. <laughs> You're so fucking smart. Let's go. Oh, God. All right. Anyways, Dave, where can the people find you? Uh, underscore Dave Sharky underscore is my Instagram. At DShark101 is my Twitter. Uh, somebody talking? Yeah. Um, and Eve of the Week, uh, I had, dude, I had this Wagyu beef stir fry. Wagyu? It's, yeah. <laughs> it's, I don't think that's how you say it. It's Wagyu beef. It's not Wagyu. <laughs> How's you pronounce it? Wagyu? It's, 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 it, there's a Y in there. It's, it's like Wagyu. Wagyu. It's Wagyu beef. It's not Wagyu. <laughs> Wagyu beef? Yeah. Wagyu beef sounds stupider. More stupid. It's Japanese. I'm saying Wagyu beef. Okay, whatever. Fine. Um, stir fry at uh, the Ridge. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. Could have been, like, the meat uh, was pretty dry. Oh. Um, so, like, I do, um, like, I'll take my my, like, burgers. I'd rather have it well done rather than bleeding yeah like i would take it well done but like this stuff was like it's like i really had to switch it around in that sauce to get Oof. some moisture to it that's rough especially if it's if it's wagyu dude it's wagyu uh, okay but it was delicious man the flavor yeah. and everything Oof. sounds good um you can follow me on my photography instagram sharky underscore photography my regular instagram at secret agent sharky my youtube channel at joe sharky um or youtube.com slash joe sharky seven um, my eat of the week is actually today. Uh, I had for lunch, I had, uh, I went to Fuzzy's taco shop hey, okay. and they have, they have like $3 tacos. Um, and I, so I got a lemonade. I got, a uh, seasoned ground beef taco and I got a fajita chicken taco. And they're they have this uh booming bust busting butt bang, oh. banging <laughs> booming busting butt what the fuck <laughs> they I can't remember what it's called it's something but hot sauce like butt hot sauce or butt hot sauce no but like b u t t hot sauce okay. yeah uh and busting butt hot bust and butt hot sauce or booming butt hot sauce something like that could be banging butt i don't remember um but it the hot sauce slaps um nice. and the tacos were very good so and and on tuesdays taco tuesday they yeah. do they do like dollar 50 tacos oh. i'm like fuck me and they're like you know the small like street tacos yeah um i'm, I'm going a, back I'm more of a burrito guy I also like they have burritos there too, but I wanted tacos. Unless they're soft shell tacos, they were soft shell tacos. Okay, then yeah, soft shell. I yeah. like a soft shell more than hard shell. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, they were very good. Um, so shout out fuzzies. I also got a lemonade. I think I already said yeah, that. You said that. Okay, I just love lemonade. <laughs> um, 
I also can't remember anything I'm saying because I have <laughs> such a bad headache right now. Also, um, I don't know. So. As for the podcast, follow us on Twitter at CSG Pod. That is CSG P O D. Follow us on TikTok at the Shuffle Podcast, this is where we post our clips. Um, and subscribe on YouTube uh, at the Shuffle Podcast. It's youtube.com slash at the Shuffle Podcast. You can also uh, follow on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Anchor, all at the Shuffle Podcast. Uh, thank you guys so much. What? Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. We will talk at you guys next week uh, and potentially have a special someone back on the podcast. Yeah. I won't be here. Mm, oh, that's right. Yeah, shit. I actually, I do need her back. Th- or then. Mm. Spoiler, it's Sarah. Hello. I need her back. I need her back next week because Dave's not here. So if Dave's not here next week, or if, if Sarah's not here next week, uh, we're taking a week off for the podcast um because dave's going on a snow adventure yeah um so we'll catch you either next week or the week after depending on sarah word bye-bye everybody